Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. While I was just sitting here staring at my beautiful collection, I do say beautiful because it has been a beautiful journey and as far as I'm concerned, the journey will never end and I love my collection. I absolutely love it. And I just thought of some ideas, some display tips um, that I thought maybe I would want to share with you guys. Maybe there's a few things on uh, you know, in this video that you hadn't thought of and I, simple as they might be, I thought it was worth pointing out. So let's talk some Star Wars tips, shall we? You guys have seen this in my collection tours. I'm gonna to tell you guys a few different things in this video, but I really wanna focus first on my boy Ben Kenobi over here and this fella. And if you look up here, what do you see? That, my friends, is a vinyl cape. That's his vinyl cape. He's not wearing it because I needed to stick him in the Stan Solo Bantha, which is beautiful. You guys have seen that in my uh, review video, I'm sure. And if you haven't, please check it out. It's an amazing toy by Stan Solo Creations. Absolutely amazeballs. And I do know that the Bantha has gone back up on pre-order. He has... Um, Stan Solo has actually put it back up for sale. He's taken uh, a second batch of orders, so get on it while the getting's good. The reason why I want to talk about this is because vinyl capes can't stick Ben Kenobi in this land speeder without jacking up his vinyl cape, so why do it? He looks just as good without it on, and this Tuscan looks awesome without his on. Personal choice, but I like to store mine up there for the time being in case I ever decide to take this guy out. I think it makes sense. Of course, you can jam it all the way in there, but I don't want to do that. So just a quick little collecting tip, display tip. And yes, this is a Stan Solo Vinyl Cape Jawa. Beautiful little thing. And um, maybe one day I'll drop two grand on a real one. Not really too big on spending thousands of dollars on one action figure, um, but uh, for displays, hell, he looks great. So there you go, guys. Just a quick little display tip about vinyls, in case you were wondering. It's pretty impossible to stick Ben Kenobi in there without absolutely destroying that vinyl cape, so I don't do it. And maybe you don't want to either. Might seem like common sense, not uh, poking fingers at anyone, but merely illustrating a possibility for your display. Moving on, I want to talk about decals. This is a beautiful X-Wing, is it not? Well, let me tell you something, guys. This has been restored. Obviously an original hull, original canopy, but it was once yellowed and I cleaned it up. And those decals are not OG Kenner. Getting OG Kenner decals is kind of hard for some of these things. These are reproductions that I got from Zach Paris, which you can find on eBay. And for displays, when it comes to decals, I'm like, yeah, decals are like old parts on a muscle car that you can't find anymore. You get what you can get because it's underneath the hood and who cares, right? As long as it's, uh, you know, runs and you, you did what you wanted to achieve and I wanted to achieve a nice, clean, pristine look. The upside of all this is I actually have an OG Kenner X-Wing that I have decals for that are OG that I was able to locate and at some point I will um, glue those bad boys back onto my other X-Wing that I have. But I wanted a pristine one um, that looked nice and didn't want to spend the extra money so I got some reproductions couple repros on there. I know some people freak out over this kind of stuff, but I don't care guys because this is my collection. I'm not here to prove anything to anyone. I don't care. Don't adjust your screen. I am doing this for emphasis. Anyway, with that being said, this is my restoration and I will uh, be touching upon how I restored this X-Wing in this next little bit. Actually, screw it. I'll just tell you right now. Um, I use hydrogen peroxide on this 
ship. Um, actually, hydrogen peroxide that R2D2. And I even hydrogen peroxided, peroxided. That's, that's good grammar. Um, but I put some hydro peroxide on this beast as well, which has got a little more yellowed. Um, this plastic is, well, it, sometimes the hydrogen peroxide method works really well and it'll stick and then that's it. And sometimes it kind of comes back and you got to do it again. If you want to, it's your toys, do what you like. But I wanted this thing to be bone white again. So I took it apart and dunked all of this in hydrogen peroxide and put it out in the sun. And I actually have made a video on this process. It's called Aren't You a Little Yellow for a Stormtrooper? Um, many people have watched it and commented on it. It's not rocket science. I'm certainly not probably the first person to talk about it. And I probably won't be the last, but I did make a video on it to show how easy it is to turn things back to their original glory. And some people freak out about that too, just like these decals. But again, I don't give a you know what because these are my toys and I'm a grown man, so I'm gonna do what I want with my toys. Yeah, that's right guys. I'm kind of making fun of a few people out there. A few man babies wanna tell everyone else what to do with their toys. Well, guess what? I don't give a shit. These are mine. You do what you want with yours. People really need to chill out. Don't tell other men what to do with their stuff. It's like, you don't mess around with another man's car, right? Well, you shouldn't mess around with another man's Star Wars toys. Mind your own business. But yes, if you want a nice, nice clean result, hydrogen peroxide um, will do the trick and you can get it um, in a solution or you can get it in a paste. And I used a paste um, and I painted it on with a paintbrush. So there you have it guys. Nice, clean, white X-Wing. Yoda, you seek Yoda. Or a bunch of Yodas. This is my Dagobah play set. You guys have seen this in my review video, no doubt, or the collection tour. And I wanna talk about this foam right here, this slimy mud hole. This thing was a, well, it was a dry mud hole. There was just a hole, there was no swamp was no mud to speak of. This foam, when it's OG, rots out like this one did a long time ago. There's a few remnants left. Wanted R2 to have something to play with. So I combed the desert, like they say in Spaceballs, amazing spoof of Star Wars. Um, but in this case, I combed the internet and found a seller who makes replacement Dagobah playset foam and got one. It was like five bucks or something. Looks amazing and does the job. I just wanted you guys to know getting OG foam for a dig of a place that is like pulling a tooth out of a tiger's mouth. Good luck. Probably not ever happening unless you happen to get a box dig of a place that that's like not been messed with, stored in plastic for years and never saw the light of day. Um, so getting a replacement was my only option since I don't care to buy another place set at this time. And as you can see, it works beautifully. Super happy about this and just wanted you guys to, you know, be aware that there are guys out there that make replacements for things. Um, everything else on this shelf is OG Kenner. Um, well, that lizard and that lizard is not Kenner, but everything else is. I just stuck those in there for some flavor. Um, but yeah, everything else is OG Kenner but this foam so I wanted you guys to just see that there's an option out there and I don't remember exactly who sold it but just type in like Dagobah playset replacement foam on the internet or on eBay specifically and you'll find somebody um, just a little little display tip another little display tip for your slimy mud hole Yoda approves look at that face he's happy R2 happy Luke's probably, well, Luke's probably frustrated because he's training, but R2, I think R2's good with it. And if R2's good with it, I'm good with it. Something I've touched upon before and made a whole video on, I do want to kind of uh, readdress, shall we say, acrylics. Specifically, these action figure stands that are square, not the round ones, but these square ones, and these risers i've gotten from gonk toys gonk toys makes awesome acrylics 
acrylic items for your Star Wars collection. And um, like I said, I made a whole video on it and reviewed them. Amazing company. Um, but I do highly recommend getting some stands for some of your figures. Some of them don't stand up worth the you know what. Um, they kind of need some support like EV99. Don't tell Gonk that she's on a circular one, which is the model he does not make. Um, just so happens that I had some left over um, from displaying a lot of my other figures around my collection. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep these round stands. I'm not going to throw them out. There's no point. But I did, like I said, order a ton of these square ones. And they're used all through my collection uh, pretty much everywhere. Um, do recommend these risers, though. Even if you don't get these stands, these risers are a lifesaver. My collection looked like, I don't know, it didn't look great before. I don't know if you guys saw my earlier videos, like early, early uh, channel videos. These were displayed like trash. They were just like on one level and they didn't look good. And since getting these risers, I really feel like things have just really spanked up um, a lot. So I do recommend these risers. You can put about, what? eight action figures I believe comfortably uh, on a set here there's second row there's eight figures so you can easily put a bunch of dudes on it and give yourself some room highly recommend the risers if you do nothing else for your collection and you have cabinets like this get the risers they fit in perfectly and it just makes your life a lot smoother smoother looking I do approve of this message. This is not a sales pitch for Gonk Toys. I am not endorsed or, you know, Gonk does not pay me to talk about them. But I do talk about cool companies that are make cool things. And I absolutely love these risers. Because um, I love my Kenner, so I want the best for them. And Gonk is reasonably priced and makes amazing stuff. So another collecting display tip for you guys. And I'm really focused on this Jabba shelf because I love the Return of the Jedi line. It's all about these helmets and these soft goods. And of course, there's some last 17 goodies in here. But yeah, acrylics change your life. While we're talking about acrylics, let's talk about the MOC acrylics made by Gonk Toys as well. This little beauty protects my Dengar. From the elements and gives them that museum quality, highly recommend that if you're going to display your MOCs in your collection. Of course, you guys have seen my Slave 1 in a review or a tour, of course. I know you have, haven't, haven't you? If not, check them out. Please do. They're on the uh, channel. And, oh God, still haven't found his Wookiee braids yet. That's all he's missing, just these dang Wookiee braids. If anybody's got some and you want to donate them to the channel, we'll be best friends forever and ever and ever. Man, I'd love to get these Wookiee braids. They're just hard to find. Hard to find and sometimes they cost an arm and a leg. Unfortunate. But that is the missing, the missing link, the missing piece to that boba. One day. One day, my friend. I promise. Don't give me that look. I mean it. Anyway. Acrylics, go get some. Promise you, it's gonna help out your your stress life. Won't get dust on them. And if for some reason you happen to pick this thing up and drop it, well, guess what? Your acrylic shot, but the MOC will probably be protected. Just don't drop it. I mean, I'm not gonna guarantee anything, obviously, but I do recommend the acrylics just the same. God, that's a sweet ship. All right, guys, moving on. Isn't he a beauty? He is too. Guys, I just want to touch on this one more time. My last video, I unboxed these two gentlemen. These are last 17 custom reproductions from Stancil action figures. And if you didn't catch that video, check it out. It's a great review on these two figures. Um, I just wanted to mention that some of these last 17s are pricey as all get out. And because I already have these two um, in the OG Kenner form, wanted to finish the scene, so to speak, 
and I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars between the two figures I opted to get these two because they're just for displays and like I said I already have the original uh, two figures in my complete run which I just showed you guys in the um, previous tip um, so yeah I, I do recommend getting some stand solo figures if you want to fill some gaps in your collection and don't want to spend an arm and a leg for them because they're damn impressive I mean they truly are um, and like I said I wanted to fill the gap in this display so I got these two bad boys and here they sit beautifully along with my custom slave Leia from stand solo absolutely gorgeous She's a beaut. Something to think about, guys. Something to think about. Um, I was so hardcore about OG Kenner. I was like, I won't cross the line. Well, I've crossed the line. Again, it would probably be a little different if I didn't have the full run because I would want the full run, and so I would track them down, which I did some time ago, a couple years ago, in fact. Um, but now that I have the full run, I'm afforded the luxury to say, ah, screw it. Let's get some reproduction figures and fill some holes and save some cash and then maybe go buy some more box goodies or I don't know anything because I've got the extra cash now. So I didn't blow $500 on Yak Face and $600 on a pop-up, give or take. Just an idea, guys. Just an idea. I like sharing things with you guys. This is what I do with my collection pulling back the curtain the Wizard of Oz curtain has been pulled back so there you have it just some some food for thought and God knows this dude doesn't need any more food and the last thing I want to talk about today in this video is figures with weapons or lack of weapons I should say like wait a minute not that guy he doesn't come with a weapon like this poor chap chaps Chaps, plural. Can we say that? Chaps, plural. Um, they are English blokes, are they not? Because most of the actors in Star Wars were English. Everyone knows that. Except for, of course, the heroes. Um, well, Chewie was actually English. May Peter, may he rest in peace. Um, these guys came with a blaster, that same blaster right there. But when displaying figures, my opinion is this. If you don't see them using said weapon in the movie or accessory Kenner gave them an action figure accessory which they pretty much gave to every single figure except for the dignitary which made absolute sense because the purple pope doesn't even sport one in the movie so that actually was a smooth choice but the imperial commander did come with said blaster but if he doesn't show one in the movie He's not using it I tend to not display my figures with it so so final tip for you guys um, I do that with the Imperial commander because they're just officers and if we cruise down here I do that with the a-wing pilot and I do it with General Lando my opinion on General Lando is his gun is in that holster you just don't see it so I actually never bought weapons for these two last 17s. They are legit. Kenner, in case anyone is doubting. Kenner, baby. Kenner. Um, yeah. If they don't use one in the movie, I may not actually buy one for them for my display. Another thing to think about. It's not a necessity. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty big nutbag about Kenner. I really would like two of every figure, one to display and one to have in the full run, which I almost have completed that mission um, with the exception of a few last 17s. Um, but yeah, he doesn't have a pistol. He definitely doesn't have a pistol, but he doesn't, doesn't come with one. He doesn't need one. Obvious. But Lando... Yeah, I probably saved myself 150 bucks just for that blaster because I didn't opt to get one when I bought this guy by himself. Smooth operator. All right, that'll be the end of my singing. So anyway, guys, just something to think about. Weapons, display, low gray. He had a staff in the movie. He gets a staff. Imperial commander, 
no blaster, doesn't need one. And honestly, this TIE pilot up here, he doesn't need a blaster either. But I had one laying around, so he gets it. These fools, no blaster. Don't see them using it, they don't get one. Anyway, guys, that's the tutorial on weapons and displaying. Do what you will. Maybe it's an obvious choice, but uh, I didn't feel pressured by, man, I got to get four more Stormtrooper blasters for these guys. Screw it. Just some thoughts, man. Just some thoughts. As I always tell you guys, they're your toys. Do what you want. Have fun, and may the Force be with you. Really hope you guys found these tips, if you will, um, useful. Uh, give you something to think about, like I said, while you're staring at your collection. And, um, you know, like I always tell you guys, do what you want with your toys. This is what I do with my toys. I'm an open book when it comes to Kenner Star Wars, and I do like to share my thoughts and ideas with you guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me some comments if there's something in the video that you, you know, you were surprised about or you, you know, just... I love chatting with you guys, honestly. Whatever you want to talk about in the comments about the video, um, I love hearing feedback from you guys, so please drop me some comments. Um, it keeps the conversation going, and I do love chatting about Star Wars. There's, there's no end to the conversation, ever. So um, drop some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have some cool ideas, because by all means, I do love staring at other people's collections, and I love to hear what you guys do with your toys. So let me know. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give the old like button a thumbs up to support the channel, and if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.